Oh my god, it just dawned on me. If we pick up a hitchhiker, where are they going to go? Okay, there is a hitchhiker and it's the pretty lady. Do you want to sit in comrade friend's lap? I accept. Please hop in. <laughs> okay. Yep. Definitely found a way to break the game today. What's up, guys, and welcome back to Border Officer. So it's a brand new day here in Gloria Stavronska, and once again, I'm getting ready to go to work for the very first time, because apparently there's upwards of 50 new people waiting to cross the border. And one very impatient person waiting to get into my house. Yes, just a minute, I'm doing an intro. Can you please stop knocking so aggressively, okay? My house has the structural integrity of a wet McDonald's bag. Yes, comrade mailman, what can I do for you? I've been sent by the Stavronska state. Right, right, the contract for my work. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Gonna read this about as carefully as any other terms of service. Yep, yeah, we're good. Let's go to work. Hey, comrade mailman, did it say anything in that contract about me having to go straight to work? Like, what's stopping me from just making a little detour to the gambling shack and doubling my life savings? But it's day one. I have literally nothing to lose and everything to gain. So you just wait here, okay? I, I know you weren't expecting this, but don't worry. I'm not going far. Daddy's just got a different kind of work to do before we get to the border. Now let me tell you guys how this works, okay? You gotta walk in here, big dick energy in tow, avoid the horses because they're for suckers, okay? You gotta go with the coin flip and put everything on tails because tails never fails. Flip the coin, my giant denimed friend, yes! Let it ride! I can't believe that actually worked. I've got 240 grivens! That's more money than you earned throughout the entire game! Right? I don't even need a job! Screw the border! The president could shove the border up his arse sideways! I'm gonna go get drunk with strippers! You wanna come with? Who am I kidding? You don't have a choice! Will you calm down, comrade mailman? Okay, the border's not going anywhere! And those 50 new people? They'll wait in line for weeks if we tell them to! Okay, we are Stavronska! And right now, Stavronska wants to get drunk and dance with strippers and throw around money like his pants are made of Bitcoin. <laughs> so get out of the car and come dance with a woman wearing a popcorn bucket on her head. No? Okay, fine. See if I care. All the more women and beer and popcorn for me. Hey, Chief. What's up? I'm guessing cover's still 10 bucks? Oh, yeah. No problem. So don't spend it all in one place. Especially the next store. You got enough. Being rich in Stavronska is awesome. I could get used to this lifestyle. Are all these beers mine? I don't remember drinking all of those. That's probably why. I have a very short memory around twerking. Comrade Mailman, you missed out on a really fun time. Are you ready to get to the border? Okay, don't worry about it, okay? I'm rich. It means I'm allowed to do this, apparently. <laughs> it's a video game. We'll be fine. I literally can't drive over 20 kilometers per hour. Oh, there we go. And now we're getting back up to pace. Okay, who's ready for a productive day at work? We're telling nobody about this. I don't know about you guys, but I'm getting the impression that Comrade Mailman doesn't like me all that much, and that he might snitch on me, so I've got a bit of an idea. What if, instead of driving all the way up to the border, we instead park, like, over here somewhere? Right, something like this? <laughs> and you just hang out up here, and then when I get off my shift at work, we'll go home together. Right? You don't ever need to leave the border. Is this the second episode in a row I'm kidnapping? So it's not kidnapping, okay? They got in my car. Well, the good news is Fred seems to be working again today, and he's doing a great job keeping the line in check. But the bad news is uh, I'm not seeing any new faces trying to cross the border. 
these are a lot of recognizable people from the last time around. Uh, unless the new people are in the back, and they got some kind of in with Fred to cut the line. I, I don't really know. Hey, Fred, send the one with the red dress in first, would you? I I'm rich now. I, I need a wife that looks the parts. <laughs> I'm going to change my whole life. Just you wait. Women love a man in uniform, and I don't have a uniform, so I'm just going to put my hat on. Hello, ma'am. What can I do for you? Can I see the documents? Here. Please review them properly. I don't want a problem. What's the purpose of your visit? Holiday. Holiday, you say? All right. Unkavishkiara Maxino... If we're going to get married, I'm just going to call you Steve. I'm not used to giving women names in games. Uh, you're from Yelechi, you're here on holiday, your numbers seem to match up, uh-huh, uh-huh. Not seeing any problems here, but you people, and by you people I mean women, you tend to have bombs in your cooters, so I just gotta check real quick. No? Well then, prove me wrong. I am so sorry, I'm gonna let you in, and I've stamped my address on your passport. You know where to find me! What the hell is Fred doing out there? Does he not know what a red dress looks like? Here we go. Hello, oh, ma'am. Hello, good work. Can I see the documents? What's the purpose of your visit? Are you guys soulless? Do you know any good places inside? Do you want to show me around? I came to work. Also noticing that I cannot select your hair anymore. Which is a positive. Let me check this real quick. I don't think there was any problems with your paper, right? It was the cooter bomb that we had to overlook. Yeah, that's usually a problem. <laughs> that's something that I would normally get somebody shot over. But here's what I suggest, okay? You don't blow yourself up. I don't get you shot. And instead, we live happily ever after in my damp little shoebox with all my money. Does that sound good? Okay, we're gonna see if we can make this work, you and I. I. I don't know your name, but it doesn't matter because you will also be named Steve. <laughs> Again, really bad with names. Please don't explode. I love you. My computer's gonna yell at me any second now. I'm just hoping for no boom. Come on, no boom, come on, no boom. Okay, computer's mad. No boom, so there's hope. What's a little C4 between lovers, right? It's not that big of a deal. They're not even gonna dock my pay for something as small as your chin, Jesus Christ. Uh, can I see the documents? I'm tired of these controls. What's the purpose of your visit? Business. What kind of business? The freak microwave business? What happened to you? <laughs> you look like Silly Putty that was left out in the sun. Oh, you're freaking me out. Uh, That's not your photo. That might have been your pre-melting photo, but it, it's it's not a current photo, so it's not gonna get the job done. Sorry, Chief. <laughs> None of these people were new. I was promised 50 new people. Instead, we got wide ass coming back again. Uh, maybe it's just day one, all right? Maybe we gotta move on to another day. I'll just get up from my computer, go home, try again tomorrow. I just stepped out of work and had a mild panic attack wondering where the hell my car was. Like somebody stole it. I was going to have to walk home. And then I remembered that I parked it up on the hill with our good friend, Comrade Mailman, who I'm really hoping is still here. Right? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> if I can go home with you and just keep you in my car forever, we are going to be such good friends. Just you wait. I really need to stop pointing out exploits in these videos because I get the feeling the developers might be watching and they keep fixing stuff. Like, it used to be that my happiness would be maxed out and then I could buy everything at a discount of 100%. You could just buy everything for free, which was great, but now in the recent update, the discount's only 25%. It's not 100, a bit of a bummer to say the least. It doesn't really matter, I mean, I'm rich, but Next update, I might not be rich for all I know. <laughs> and that would be a huge bummer. Please don't drive into me. Well, they didn't fix that. Here's another fun fact. I get the feeling the Comrade Mailman is a bit of a good luck charm. Because usually I would be driving on the road and blow a tire by looking at a piece of gravel. Now I'm doing front flips off roads. <laughs> and I haven't bust a tire. I get the feeling as long as he's in my front seat, I'm good. I got invincible tires, maybe? 
really only one way of finding out. <laughs> I hope you're still here when I wake up tomorrow. I, I just want somebody in this game, okay? I'm tired of being alone. But family doesn't count, okay? They're all shit. The one thing I forgot to buy in town was a gun, of course. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I don't want to rob this guy because it's going to make me sad, but I'd love to shoot him in the head. <laughs> That'd definitely make me happy. And I should have gotten a dog to guard the house. I can't replace the stuff that gets stolen, unfortunately. I'm pretty sure a thief stole Uncle's bed every time. Every time? How? You're like 400 pounds! And you're already super happy, so you know what? No beer for you. I'm holding off. I'm gonna save it for a little bit. I'll put some baked beans in the fridge. Are you sad, son? You're pretty sad. Okay, you can have some chocolate. There you go. Be a little bit happier. We'll put some of this in the old stove. I'm not gonna give you any money because you make... I should give her a little money, right? Give money. How much money did I give her? Doesn't say. Give a little more money. Okay. Oh, I gave her like six bucks. Okay, that's perfectly fine. <laughs> Hello, wifey poo. Uh, give you a cigarette. And uh, how about we meet in the night? Don't forget to be energetic in bed. Oh, right. Fortunately, I uh, loaded up on energy drinks. <laughs> so I'll never be tired again. I, I want to have full days at work. So I, I got to make sure that I'm good and energetic. And I guess if that helps my wife, all the better. Right? I had to be more energetic. For what? All she does is lie on me and say something in Starvonskin. Screw it, okay? Um, you guys don't get food and heat today, right? We're gonna be very strict with our budget. Mm -hmm. Good morning, comrade mailman. Or should I say comrade friend? Right? You're no longer comrade mailman. You quit the mailman job. You now live in my car. <laughs> Let's go to work, shall we? Oh my god, it just dawned on me. If we pick up a hitchhiker, where are they going to go? Okay, there is a hitchhiker, and it's the pretty lady. <laughs> Do you want to sit in comrade friend's lap? I accept. Please hop in. <laughs> okay. Yep. Definitely found a way to break the game today. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. And you know what? We're not going to the club. If I keep doing this every day, will I be able to build up a collection of hitchhikers? I don't need to go to the border. I don't need to stop here. I, I could just do whatever I want. Y you guys belong to me now. I'm not 100% sure who's inside of who in there, but just keep it clean, okay? I don't need any love stains on the front of my car when I get off work. My car is pretty much one giant stain as it is. <laughs> we had better see some new people. I don't even care. Perfectly honest, I could play this game over and over again doing the exact same thing and I would still have fun. But I would appreciate some new people trying to get into the country. If you've seen any of my other experiences in Stavronska, you'll remember that I let two people into the country without the proper documentation because they were with the SCP Foundation. And I remembered that one of them was a wanted criminal, right? Rugov is definitely one of the people that I let in. So, I'm starting to think that there is no SCP Foundation, and instead, it's just a bunch of criminals that are treating me like the idiot that I am. <laughs> Unfortunately for them, I'm onto them now, and I'm rich, so I don't even need the job. What can I do for you there, hard hat? You make money from where you sit. I sweat under the sun for hours. I'll get out of here one day, but for now I must visit my family. Let's confirm the documents. I think I speak... Okay, you speak a little fast, if anything else, there, regime. I mean, I don't work for money. I work for pleasure. I don't need money. Megarukta. I can tell you right now, that is not a country. Yep, not a country. Sorry, Chief. You can't pull one over my eyes. Because you stand out quite a bit. You're very reflective. Okay, uh, glory to... I mean, Viva Stavronska! No, 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 lady. I was just saying that I'm on to you, okay? I, I, I don't care. I just, unless you got a rocking body underneath all that, then I, I'm just gonna have to say no. Soon the offer will come join us. Yeah, how about take this for an offer? Really? I can't stamp your card, but I can stamp my table? Why? Okay, just take this and get out of my sight. I should have shot her. 
I should have pressed the giant button. Ah, oh, that would have been perfect. Send a message early on. You see, now Fred is sending the right people in. Hello, man. Would you like to get trapped in my car? <laughs> Here's my paperwork. Thanks. What the purpose of your visit? I learned the new rule this morning. I got a new job here. Be a world star. World star, you say. Elmped. <laughs> I will not call you Steve. Elmped is a perfect name. I laugh at it every damn time. There's Noyev. Work. Uh, numbers are wrong. You're missing a seven on the end there. Which is a real bummer. Like, again, maybe we could work so I, I can't just let every pretty face in. Okay, I'm gonna get a game over. I'm gonna lose all my money and get, get screwed. Okay, just, just take it, take it and leave. Again, I don't know what's with the weird dab, but Viva Stavronska. Oh, not the Lunchables guy again. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm working on it. Why does this guy think he's ever gonna make it? I got the bullet the size of a banana here. Hold on. Line him up. Nobody else is gonna do their job. Yeah, what the purpose of your visit? <laughs> Transfer, dear. You a dude or a little old lady? He calls people dear. Let's see here. Radislav. Yeah, don't worry about the fact that I just shot somebody over your shoulder. If you hear a ringing, that should go away in a couple weeks. Don't worry about it. Sev... That's not a place, is it? No, I know my map of wherever this is. <laughs> Sorry about that, dear, but you'll have to be on your way now. <laughs> Again, if you see any pretty women that want to get trapped in my car, I, I, I know I'm barking up the wrong tree, but I got everything in life right now. Literally everything. I got money, I've got a house, I've got a car, I've got friends. All I need is a wife that isn't the wife that I have right now. You aren't new either. Where are the new people? Oh, hello, hello. Oh, yeah. Can I see the documents? Mm -hmm. Yes, here. Mm -hmm. What the purpose of your visit? Hope you're not mm -hmm. smuggling shitty tracksuits. I'm a journalist. I'm going to make news. All right. Krasnoyev, and you don't have the extra Krasnoyev passport. Do you? No, okay. Well, that makes my life a whole lot easier. And boop. See you oh, later. Yeah, Go write an angry piece about that. That's it? There's another full day at work. We didn't get one new person. I remembered all of these people. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy that I've turned my car into a prison, but at the same time, I want something new. Home sweet home. And you know what? I wouldn't normally do this, but I think we need to go for a third day at work. Like, I don't know if this video is gonna be too long. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, be sure to leave a like because it's your support that makes me wanna do this. Specifically, this. <laughs> yeah, that's right. This is your fault, okay? I'm not taking any blame for this. But my point is, I, I know people enjoy the series, so I don't mind making videos that are a little bit longer. I, I can brisk it, because hopefully, people will actually watch. I don't think I want any energy to meet you in the night. Uh, I will have one beer, though. How about that? <laughs> Drink it right in your face. How are you so tall? How am I drunk on one beer? That That's fine. I'm going to go to sleep now. I got friends to make in the morning. Comrade friend, what happened to the woman that I left you with last night? Where'd she go? Didn't put her in the trunk, did you know? That's kind of concerning. Uh, I don't suppose there are any shallow graves around here, are there? Not the end of the world, okay? We'll just go pick up a fresh one. You and I, we're now in this together. How do I turn such a simple little innocent game into a serial killer simulator so easily? Bad news, comrade friend. We found you someone else, but she's a little older. Oh, uh, that's what you get, okay? You don't go and bury a perfectly good stripper. Oh, she's the one that keeps turning on the radio, isn't she? Just turn it off, lady, okay? It's my car. Just sit there quietly. You're, you're, sh 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 stop it. That's enough. Okay, you know what? Uh, hey, comrade friend, does she have her seatbelt on by any chance? What are the odds I can put her out this windshield by taking a nosedive into a tree? <laughs> no? All right. Then there goes a tire. It's a good thing I can afford a new one. I guess I'm just gonna have to leave you here to deal with her. Yeah, you know what? This is what you get. You'll think twice before you get rid of a good-looking one, won't you? That is so loud. 
<laughs> and I probably won't bother replacing the tire because the last thing I need is them driving away with my car. It's a brand new day. I'm super energetic. Something has to go uh, right. Jesus hey, hello, Christ. Oh, uh, what, 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 what the purpose of visit? Work. How long is the validity? Hey, hello, One hello. day. I don't care. I, I don't care. Yep, yep. You are in. You're in. You are so in. Don't mind my computer making loud noises, okay? It's just very excited as well. <laughs> Welcome to Stavronska. And uh, I'll tell you what I told no one else. There were no others. Please be sure to check out the address that I stamped on that. Okay, have, have a nice day. Whew. And she didn't even have a bomb in her cooter. So, you know, that's like doubling the possibility of something actually happening. <laughs> win, win, oh, hello. Uh, good work, I'm a diplomat from Brydnethi. Thief stole your son's bed, oh my. I keep forgetting to get the damn dog. That's the first time somebody's ever stolen my son's bed. Do all diplomats look the exact same? Because I'm pretty sure a whiter version of you came through here yesterday. I recognize the cold, dead stare in your eyes. And you said you were from Brydnethi. But it says on the Sochi. So you can just take a hike, I suppose. <laughs> no fake diplomats in here. Sorry, bud. I mean, unless you got giant boobs. No? Tough. When it rains, it pours in here. Hey, I'm really happy I did a third day. Hello, document! Here. That wasn't the inflection I was supposed to give it. You're a dentist! Right, I remember you. Made a joke about you spending a little time in my mouth. Everybody loved it. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Eight months for a dentist. Yup. Sarah. Okay. Um, from Krasnoyev. And you're supposed to have another piece of documentation as a Krasnoy you've been. I don't suppose you got something underneath those titties, do you? Have to perform a strip search? No? Okay then, I, I gotta reject you. I've already let a couple good looking faces in. I got prospects, okay? I don't need to be as desperate as I used to be. Plus, I'm starting to skate on thin ice around here. I don't think I get fired from this job, I think Fred fires me from this job. Ah, uh, yes. Hello, my suited, effeminate friend. Oh, what yeah. can I do for you? Hi. What the purpose of your visit? Oh, yeah. I have a special event. I'm on uh, duty. Only two days. Yeah. Right. And let me guess. Your name is Alexi. Oh. Right. Yep. Okay. Just gonna press this button and uh, we'll wait for Fred to fire you. Yep, something was definitely fired. Sweet, merciful Jesus, what country is exporting all you? <laughs> Welcome, beautiful lady. Thanks. What is the reason of your visit? I came to work. I'm a dancer. How long is the validity? 12 months. Okay. Yep, you know what? Uh, one year dancer for Riza. Interesting. Things are looking promising. Leninoyelevek, is that a place? Oh, no, I don't know if that's a place. I don't think that's a place. That doesn't sound like a real place. Oh, no, it is a real place. Oh, thank God. Titties are clean. Almost too clean when you think about it. Suspiciously clean. I need to investigate further. <laughs> I don't think they let me do that around here. I don't have that much power considering I get paid like... Seven dollars a day or something like that. Not a whole lot, <gasps> but I am rich. I, that was all inner monologue. You didn't hear any of that. Please come back, Viva Stavronska. Yeah. You again. Huh? Right, more <laughs> SCP <laughs> people. You know what? I'm tired oh, of getting no. taken advantage by people like you. And considering yeah. you're probably a dude and it's the end of my work day, I think we're just gonna... Yeah, you know, I, I found a knife on him, Fred. I, I took the knife, but you, you just... Get rid of them. I don't think I've ever done this to somebody undeservingly. I'm really curious what my punishment is gonna be and how the SCP will handle the deep squatter. Oh, 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 okay, yeah, you know what? Wait, 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 this is perfect. I'm going to get up. I wanna see it happen. If I'm quick, I... Damn it, Fred, you were supposed to wait for me. Wait, what? You just let them walk off and disappear? 
You've been firing blanks this entire time to make me feel better? Are you kidding me, Fred? You know what? I think that's going to be it for this episode of Border Officer, guys. I'm still filthy rich. I still got a whole bunch more things to see in this game. So if you guys want to see more, as always, be sure to leave a like on this video. Let me know, and I'll return to indiscriminately murder, kidnap, and just flirt with pretty much everything. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.